We're not going to do a pulse and bio because Emmer taught us a lesson, so we'll let the congressman <laughs> speak for himself. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Good morning, everybody. Hey, everybody. It is great to be in Duluth, and it is great to be in Minnesota's 8th Congressional District, home now to Minnesota's next Republican, Congressman Pete Stauber. I want to thank Jennifer, I want to thank Janet and Rick, I want to thank the entire team that's up here. I also want to thank the CD3 folks who are here today for your help and support for many years. Look, I just want to make sure you all know, for the past year, Republicans have been working hard to reverse all of these mistakes of Obama's eight-year tenure on everything from foreign policy to crippling regulations, Obamacare, and of course a really sluggish economy. And we are absolutely implementing a vision of reform that you can be proud of. And look, things are looking pretty good. Just yesterday we received the outstanding news that the Republican tax cuts are working. Our economy added another couple hundred thousand jobs. <laughs> Unemployment now is at the lowest rate it's been in 18 years. Really good opportunity. <laughs> Business optimism is at records highs. Capital investment is up. Workers are getting bigger paychecks, they're getting special bonuses, they're getting better benefits. And now Nancy Pelosi calls these crumbs. We all know that's not true. This is real money in people's pockets. And I'll just tell you, for me, it's about one fundamental question. Who gets to decide to spend your money? Would you work hard for your money? Who decides what to do with it? Is it going to be you or is it some nameless, faceless bureaucrat in Washington who doesn't know your name? Because when a family with young children is working hard to fund their children's future, who gets to decide how to spend their money? Is it that family or is it Washington? When a single mom is working hard every single day for a better life for her daughter, who decides where her money goes? And when that small business owner who's working late into the night, through the weekend, risking every penny that they have invested to reach their dream, who gets to keep that meager profit that they may be able to earn? Does it go to you, who earned it? Or do, when you're exhausted at the end of a long day? Or is it going to end up going to the federal government, taken by someone who doesn't even know your name until it's April 15th? <laughs> Our Republican vision makes sure that hardworking taxpayers can keep more of their hard-earned money. We let Americans get back to work. Our local businesses no longer have to compete with other countries with one hand tied behind their back. And we absolutely recognize that our country's greatest asset is the American people. It's America's days are now best ahead. And here's the fundamental question. Are you better off now than you were 16 months ago? But let's be honest. The Democrats are going to be motivated come in November. Nancy Pelosi wants to be Speaker of the House again. She has said, she said her first and top priority will be repealing tax reform. We know what that means. That means raising your taxes. And look, we know we have competitive races here. I know I've got a target on my back. We know Nancy Pelosi wants the third district seat badly. And my opponent, Dean Phillips, he's going to spend his inherited wealth to try and buy himself a seat in Congress. But we're not going to let that happen. Dean Phillips has spent his entire adult life as an ATM for Democrats, donating and raising hundreds of thousands of dollars for Democrats. And now Nancy Pelosi wants to repay that favor by spending millions of dollars herself to help win an extreme, another vote for her extreme agenda of higher taxes, more regulations, and government health care. We've seen millions of hardworking families now get those bigger paychecks, get those extra bonuses, and get better benefits. But Dean Phillips wants to undo it all and raise your taxes. We will not let that happen. I will not be out hustled. And I'm going to tell you today, we will re-elect Tom Emmer. We will re-elect Jason Lewis. We will turn the 1st District red. We will turn the 8th District red. We are going to turn this state red. And also, I know that we can do it because working together, we will make sure that America and Minnesota keeps moving forward toward a more prosperous, safer, and freer future. God bless all of you. 
Thank you for what you do. Let's win big. I'm ready to go and turn this state red come November. Have a great convention.